Welcome back to the show. Uh, back to tell you about the latest production of ITR. They're out there in Osgood. Uh, they've been around for, for many, many years. Uh, their latest play is called The Cemetery Club. Here to tell us more about it, I'm joined by Don, Heather, Ellis, and Andre Nell. Welcome, ladies. Great to have you here. Thank you. Thank you. Um, let's talk, first of all, about ITR. Um, Don, Heather, uh, tell me a little bit about you know the, the history behind ITR. Are you familiar with it? Well, Andre... Oh, Andre will take care of that one. I'm sorry, Andre. <laughs> Over to you, Andre. Well, because this is her first time. Oh, so, really? You know, oh, well, we'll get into that in a moment. She'll, okay. get, the, she'll get the quiz later. Okay. <laughs> ITR, believe it or not, had their 50th anniversary last year. Wow, so I remember that. have yeah. been around for a very long time. And um, although they're... F so 50 years, but in community theater, they, uh, they, they continue to innovate and um, you know think of new ideas refresh they encourage new people to come with yeah. new ideas that sort of thing so um, it's very creative and collaborative which is wonderful yeah. what, what brought you there uh, this is my second show with them okay. so yeah it's you know, you kind of make the rounds in all of the community <laughs> theater groups. So. Oh, you, you've made the rounds. I love I that. I've made Excellent. the rounds. How about you, around. Don, Heather? What, what brought you to ITR? Uh, well, I got into uh, community theater quite late. Okay. I had wanted to do it for years. I helped with my son when he was in theater for children. But I'd wanted to do it for ages and then... You get to a certain age where you start to reflect on the things that you keep intending to do. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, just before COVID, I guess, I, I started auditioning and volunteering. Terrific. And yeah, so I got into got that way. Um, the, the three of you, I understand, so Judy could not make it, un unfortunately, today, but the yeah. three of you, I understand, have, a, have an amazing dynamic, Andre. Talk to me a little bit about the storyline of, of the Cemetery Club. Well, you jump in when you're ready. Um, so <laughs> basically, it's three women who, um, they're elderly, you know, late 60s. They've been friends for over 30 years. Okay. And uh, so what you'll see in the clip that's going to come up is uh, very comfortable friends with each other. You know, they have squabbles, but they always make up, that sort of thing. And I think the fact that the three characters have three very different personalities is what creates the comedy. Okay. And, yeah. and in this little bit, they're just getting ready to go to the cemetery. They do this every month. Um, they're more recently widowed, so they've known each other for 30 some odd years, but more recently widowed. And uh, so they go to the cemetery, but they have tea first. And this little tea clutch, they are talking about a friend of theirs who is getting married for the umpteenth time. She's a friend in their age group, and they're chatting about Selma's wedding. Okay, right. well, let's, let's throw to the clip and have, have a look. Go ahead. She's too old. She's exactly my age. I rest my case. Oh, look who's talking. <laughs> Remember, next month you're going to be... Don't you dare. <laughs> this is like watching my two older sisters fight. <laughs> you want to get into this? Yeah. Stay out of it. You're just three days younger than dirt. Look who's talking. I was with you when you celebrated oh, your 60th birthday for the fourth time. I did no such thing. Oh, yes, you did. I happen to think I look terrific. You do. I just hope I look as good as you do at your age. <laughs> you did. <laughs> I just hope I reach your age. You've been my age twice. And you've been your age since I know you. <laughs> So good. I, 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 I'm really excited about this one. So you said all the, the, the personalities are very different from each other, Andre. Um, let's start with, with your role. Tell me a little bit about Doris. How, how would you describe your, your character? Doris is a very, uh, a widow who's very loyal to her husband and is devoted to his memory and um, not at all interested in new relationships, okay. that sort of okay. thing. Yeah. Uh, Don Heather, uh, you play the role of Lucille. Tell me yes. about Lucille. Lucille is the polar opposite of Doris. Okay, okay. Um, she's, she, and she's the most recent widow, actually. But she's already out there dating and uh, really encouraging her friends to join her in that uh, 
that next step right, in life. Right. So. And then Ida, played by Judy, is um, the, 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 the go-between who keeps the peace. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Every every relationship needs some friendship. <laughs> needs one, one of those. Um, there, are, um, the the thing with this is is it's based in New York. So you you all three of you had to kind of master that New York accent. What what yeah. was that like for you? I'll start with you, Don Heather. Um, well, it's funny, Andre and I were talking about this beforehand, and I think you start by taking a look at the personality of the character you're portraying, and uh, and you go from there. And so a lot of YouTube clips and. Yeah. Uh, um, sort of developing what you feel suits the character. So mine is a much more extreme, strong New York accent. Can you give me an example? Uh, <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> I, I'm putting it on I, the spot. I did a lot of exploring on the internet, you know, and uh, and you know, it really depends. U ultimately, I realized I was doing Fran Drescher, sort of, and uh, Rosie O'Donnell. <laughs> That's very good. I like that. Did so. you did you have fun doing your research as well, Andre? I Trying did. To, now, yeah. what what became really challenging is there's no singular definition no. of what a New York accent right, is right, um, and yeah. in particular Jewish New York right so there's there's that uh, Judy has a much more subtle undertone accent okay. Um, okay. and so yeah if you, if you look at the you know examples of other celebrities actors none of them sound the same yeah. no you're right yeah, yeah. absolutely and, and so to Don Heather's point you kind of discover what fits your character right. um, as as you get more f intimate with your character uh, mm -hmm. tickets go on sale April 1st I'll everybody at home and thanks to you both really appreciate you joining us thank today you, and you. Judy um, I hope you feel better soon <laughs> Uh, I'm sure rehearsals are ongoing. Uh, by the way, it runs from May 3rd to 12th. There's a uh, dinner on May the 4th at 6 p.m. There is a Mother's Day brunch that you'll absolutely love. That's at 12 p.m. on May the 12th, and I'll run over the other times at the end of the show. We'll be back with more right after this.